So you're looking for a payroll provider, you've heard about Gusto, and you have some questions. Namely, if it's a good option for a one-person business. Well, in this video, I'll be answering the questions, how does Gusto work for a one-person payroll? What alternatives you have as a solopreneur? And what you must know before you decide to use Gusto as a one-person operation. So without further ado, let's dive right on into it. Starting off with what Gusto actually is. Well, Gusto is a modern payroll and HR platform that's focused on small business owners. So namely companies with between about one and 50 employees. They currently serve over 200,000 businesses across 100 different countries, which is pretty substantial and it's what I personally use to run payroll for two of my different companies where I am a solopreneur. So I've got two different companies where I am the only person on payroll. Both of those are run through Gusto and I'm going to explain why that is right now. Now there's two main reasons why I personally decided to use Gusto for my small businesses. The first of which is that it's the cheapest option on the market if you are a solopreneur. So I went through, spent a lot of time basically comparing all these different options to each other because when you pick a payroll platform, you are kind of stuck with them for a pretty significant amount of time. It's kind of a headache to change. So it's really important to kind of figure out which one you actually want to use before you commit to one, because like I said, switching is a bit irritating and kind of a timely and costly process. So I really spent a lot of time kind of researching which one I wanted to use. And Gusto is definitely the cheapest when it comes to one person, how most of these are set up. And we'll talk about kind of the different options you have a little bit later, but how most of them are set up is you pay a flat monthly fee just to use the service. And then for every additional employee, there's an incremental fee. So for example, with Gusto, that flat monthly fee is going to be $39 a month, independent of how many employees you have. And then each additional employee is going to add $6. So with one person on Gusto, it's going to be $45 a month. And believe it or not, that's actually the cheapest option out there for a solopreneur. Payroll isn't the cheapest service to provide because there's a lot of legal filings and kind of just compliance work that has to be done on the back end. So a lot of these platforms are going to charge significantly more than that. So $45 a month is going to be the cheapest you're going to find for a one person operation. Additionally, when you sign up using the link in the description below, you get a free hundred dollars. So that basically pays for the first two months and then some, and they don't start charging you $45 a month until you actually run your first payroll. So basically you can sign up, get your hundred dollars and then use that either for payroll or it's just a visa gift card that you can use for whatever. So it's kind of a nice bonus to sweeten the pot. And when I signed up, I used somebody else's referral code. So I got that hundred dollars, which kind of paid for the first few months. Now, beyond just the cost, there's actually a couple of other reasons why I personally decided to use Gusto for my one person businesses. And so running through those, the first of which is that it's a very user-friendly platform. So the interface is very simple, very straightforward. For me, it's very important. I really don't care about payroll. I just want it to get done legally and save me as much as possible in taxes. So I really don't care to know all the details, all the intricacies of how everything works. I just want a very simple platform where I can just press one button and it's done and it's taken care of and I don't have to think about it. So that's kind of what Gusto does, which is one of the reasons why I really like it compared to some of the other competitors is that the interface is not very complicated. It also takes care of all the taxes, withholding and reporting so that again, I don't have to think about that stuff because there are some other options out there where you can kind of run payroll manually. And then the last thing that kind of pushed me over the edge that it's very optimized for small businesses. Okay. So some of these other platforms like ADP paychecks, you might've seen those names before when you're working for a larger employer. When I worked for Dairy Queen, I'm pretty sure my paychecks came from paychecks. And so I was very familiar with some of these bigger guys. Some of the other jobs I had as a kid, I got pay payroll through ADP. So I was pretty familiar with those, but those are definitely not optimized for small businesses. So probably not the route you want to go down if you are a one person operation. Now to show the good and the bad, I also do want to highlight some of the cons that I've heard about Gusto or kind of encountered from Gusto. So the first of which is the customer service. So when I was kind of doing my research, I found a lot of people saying that the customer support on Gusto wasn't great. I honestly have found the opposite to be true. I've had to contact support a number of times just for different kind of like tax things, reporting things. My business has moved states a couple of times. I've never had an issue with kind of poor support or anything like that. It's always been very easy. The only thing is they only do have support during weekdays and during kind of like normal business hours for the most part. I think it's a little bit longer than normal business hours, but only support during the weekday. So some other platforms have support kind of 24 seven, you're going to have to pay for that though. It's going to be more expensive, but for me, just having support during the weekdays has been completely fine. Other big con is that it's not free. Um, like I said, you can do kind of like the manual route of filling out all the forms yourself every month. Very tedious. I really did look into it. I, came to the conclusion that that was not what was going to be best for me at all, just because of all the additional headache that, that was going to entail. Again, much rather pay for the convenience of having this all taken care of for me. Very simple interface that I can interact with on a very minimal basis. Now, if you're like me at all, you're, you're still curious about what other options are out there. So I want to run through a couple of the kind of biggest competitors to Gusto, just kind of run you through why I think Gusto is better for solopreneurs than the other options, just to give you more of a kind of full picture of the landscape and what's out there. So first of which the one that you've probably heard of before is QuickBooks. So you might use QuickBooks for your accounting. They also have a payroll solution, which is different from their accounting solution. Okay. 
both of these are separate there is no discount for using both together they are independent kind of software packages you can choose to do one or the other or both now it's going to be more expensive than gusto for one person it's going to be around that 50 dollars mark so a little bit more expensive than gusto not not a whole lot more expensive about 10 percent more i mean it's not huge but again if you are going to be using this thing for the long term five dollars a month you know it adds up over time also if you do want to think about upgrading to like the next tier up with gusto it's only about 50 dollars for the tier number two because i'm talking about tier number one pricing right now i have both my businesses on kind of like the bare bones gusto package because again it's just me you probably won't need to upgrade if it's just you but if you do want to on gusto second tier is about 50 dollars a month second tier on quickbooks is about 83 dollars a month so when you do start upgrading adding more features prices do add up a lot faster on quickbooks so i was kind of thinking like if i do want to upgrade gusto definitely makes more sense so that's another one of the reasons why i personally prefer gusto quickbooks does have the potential though to become cheaper as you add getting into like the dozens of employees though so if you are a single person operation now and you plan to be a 50 plus person company in the future quickbooks could actually become cheaper in the long run because their per employee cost is usually a little bit lower than gusto so with gusto like i said 39 dollars a month plus six dollars per employee with quickbooks it's 45 dollars per month flat with an additional four dollars per employee so as you can see if you start adding up employees eventually it's going to be cheaper for you potentially to use quickbooks if you have a large large team of people now one other thing to keep in mind with quickbooks is that they have a more limited feature set on their kind of like bare bones plan so each of these is going to have like three different plans that you can choose from with gusto or quickbooks with the bare bones on gusto you get more functionality than the bare bones on quickbooks so as a solopreneur if you are going to be on that bare bones plan probably makes more sense to be with gusto because you have more features available to you whereas with quickbooks you're gonna have to start paying more for those right away now running quickly through two other potential competitors you've got adp and paychecks like i mentioned before you may have seen these before from your employer giving you your paycheck but in most cases it's not going to make sense for you to use either one of these as a one person operation adp does actually have a platform called run that specializes in small businesses anywhere from one to 49 employees so that could potentially be something to look into we have a whole video on that which you can check out kind of comparing that to gusto if that is something that you are interested in exploring, I'll link that on screen right now. But for the most part, ADP and paychecks aren't going to make the most sense for you if you are a one person operation. Now to bring things full circle, if you are a solopreneur making $60,000 per year profit or more, it probably makes sense for you to be set up as an S corp, not tax advice. But if you are set up as an S corp, you do need to be running payroll. And so you need a payroll provider service to do that. Personally, I have chosen with both of my one person businesses to use Gusto for that, for the reasons mentioned, the fact that it's cheap, the fact that it's easy, and I don't have to think about it and I literally press one button per month and it's completely taken care of for me kind of just makes gusto take the cake for me again I spent dozens of hours researching this so this is the conclusion I came to if you want to skip the research yourself I would highly recommend just going with gusto because it's easy and you can get a free hundred dollar visa gift card using the link in the description below if you want to sign up feel free to drop me a comment if you have any questions about this because again I spent a lot of time researching this and I will see you in the next video